Do you want to learn how to capitalize on prospects who act like they're too busy to talk to you? Watch this video. What's up guys, Ricky Carruth here, Remax of Orange Beach, Alabama and ZeroToDiamond.com. Today I'm going to be talking about how to handle prospects who say they're too busy or act like they're too busy to talk to you. They answered the phone and as soon as you told them who you were, they said, okay, yeah, I'm too busy right now or I'm in the middle of something or maybe they just act like their tone or something tells you that they're just too busy or maybe they're just irritated and they just don't want to talk to you or whatever the case may be. I'm going to tell you how to absolutely handle that situation and not only handle it, but create that lifelong relationship that you want with that prospect. So at the end of this video, I'm actually going to play a live call that I had off one of my live call sessions where the prospect told me that they were too busy and I handled it exactly the way I'm fixing to tell you guys to handle it and I ended up getting the email for that future business that's going to come to me in the form of repeat business, referrals, and referrals of referrals because they are now going to be getting my weekly email every single Wednesday for the rest of their life. Before I get started, if you're getting any value out of my videos and you have not clicked subscribe, please do so now. I also have a free online course for real estate agents in the link below. And also I have training sessions live right here on this YouTube channel every other Friday. So if you are in my Zero to Diamond real estate coaching program, you know my phone script. You know my phone script is low pressure. We're not going for the kill. We're trying to read who we're talking to on the phone. We're trying to figure out what we can do to help them. We're going to respect their time. We're going to give them a little bit of market information. And we're going to ask them what in the world we can do for them. We're going to find out if they have an agent that they're going to deal with in the area. And then we're going to tell them that we would love the opportunity to work with them in the future and get their email address. So what if when you're making these calls and they say they're too busy or that you just feel like they're too busy, what do you do? The first part of my script is, is, hey, Mr. Johnson, you pause, you let them answer. They say, yes, this is Mr. Johnson. You say, hey. Mr. Johnson, this is Ricky Carruth down at Remax of Orange Beach. How you doing today? Then you're going to pause again. They're going to say, we're doing good, Ricky. How about you? I'm going to say, yeah, I'm doing great too. I'm just enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous outside? They're going to say something about the weather. You may talk about the weather for a second. And by the way, the weather part of the call doesn't have to be about the weather. It could be anything. It could be, how was your new year? Are you getting ready for Christmas? You know, how about those saints? Whatever the case may be. You want to say another question after how are you doing that's not real estate related to throw them off a little bit and loosen them up, right? And this is a very crucial part of the call because if you don't do this, they could just stay kind of, you know, nervous or tight and you want to loosen them up. And this is how you do it. A lot of people don't want to say this part of the call. They don't want to talk about the weather. They don't want to say something that's non real estate related because they just feel awkward about it. But the thing is, is you want to create that awkward moment of, hey, yeah, I'm just enjoying the days and it's gorgeous. And then they're like, yeah, bye bye. And then it's like an awkward moment. That's when you get ready for the transition, which is, I got you. Well, look, I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but a house down the road sold. And I didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you today. That's how you handle that situation. When you have awkward moments, I have transitions built into my phone scripts that you need to be ready to go into. But this call that we're talking about is when they are too busy, okay? And so what happens is, is this. Hey, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, this is Mr. Johnson. Hey, Mr. Johnson, this is Ricky Carruth down at Remax of Orange Beach. How you doing today? I'm doing good, Ricky. I'm a little busy. What can I do for you? Okay? When they say that, this is part of my training in terms of reading people. The two questions in the beginning, how are you doing, and I'm enjoying the day, isn't it gorgeous, or whatever question you decide to do there, those two questions are designed to get some feedback, get some tone, get some, get some information from them to read them on the phone and see exactly how you need to handle this situation. So when they say they're too busy, or they act like they're too busy, or they act like they're annoyed, you need to read that and you need to do exactly what I'm fixing to tell you to do. 
If they say, I'm doing good, Ricky, I'm just a little busy right now, what can I do for you? You're gonna skip that second question, right? You're gonna go right into, and you're also gonna start talking faster, okay? You're gonna talk faster than you normally talk because they're busy. You know, they don't wanna get into all this, they, they need, they've got something they're in the middle of, right? So when they say, I'm too busy, what can I do for you? You're gonna say, I got you, well look, I don't wanna take up too much of your time today, but a house down the road just sold, didn't know if there's anything I could do to help you today. And they're gonna say, no. You're gonna say, okay, cool. Well look, um, is there an agent in the area that you would work with? They're gonna say, no, no, okay, cool. Well, look, I'm sure at some point down the road, you're gonna wanna buy or sell something. I would love the opportunity to work with you. When that day comes, would it be okay if I stayed in touch with you? Yeah, sure, okay, cool. What's your email address? And so what happens is, is if you read that they're busy, if you read that they're annoyed, if you read that there's something going on there, you're gonna read that, and then you're gonna skip that second part of the small talk. You're gonna go right into respecting their time, I got you, well look, I don't wanna take up too much of your time today. Give them the market info, ask if there's anything in the world you can do for them. If not, do they have an agent? If not, you'd love the opportunity to work with them in the future. Is it okay if you stay in touch? What's the email address? That's how you handle it. You go through the entire phone script. You don't stop the phone script. You don't do anything different. You read them and then you flow the conversation accordingly. It's just like if you call, they're talking slow, they sound happy, they sound like they're happy to hear from a real estate agent, whatever the case may be, and you get into this really nice, you know, friendly conversation, it's going really good, you're not talking too fast. Um, it's the same thing, you're reading people and then you're adjusting your conversation accordingly. So that's what you have to do. You just, you know, that's why I have the, the two transitions are this. When there's an awkward moment, and it could be right then after you say, how are you doing, or it could be after the weather part of the call, there's gonna be an awkward moment where most people don't know what to do. That's when you say, I got you, well look, I don't wanna take up too much of your time today, but yada, 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 that's the first transition. The second transition is when they say that they're not interested in doing anything right now, or that there's not anything you can do to help them right now. That's normally the next awkward part of the call because most people don't know what to do there. That's the second transition that you really gotta get these two transitions down and be ready for these awkward points in the call. And you say, I got you, well look, is there an agent in the area that you would work with if you were to buy or sell something? Okay, that's how you handle those two awkward parts of the call and transition into something that's gonna bring him, the prospect value, shows them that you're different than all the other agents and it does so much for you. Think about this phone script. It asks them how they're doing, it does small talk, it gives you a chance to read them on the phone, it respects their time, it, it gives them market info, it doesn't high pressure them, it doesn't ask them if they want to sell, if they thought about selling, if they wanna buy. You just ask them if there's anything you can do to help them, you're engaging in a conversation. If not, you find out if they have a relationship already or is the door open for you to become their agent for life, right? Then we're gonna ask them if it's okay to stay in touch and get them to commit to that before we ask for the email address. We're doing all of this in one conversation. Okay, so I'm about to play the clip of the live call that I did where I demonstrated this. If you guys are looking for a completely free real estate coaching program, go to zero2diamond.com. You can get everything that I know about selling real estate right there. You can reach out with questions. We have live training sessions. Um, all the phone scripts, 90 day action plans, 60 day jumpstart, video tutorials, and how I do everything is right there for you. All I wanna do is make a difference in the industry. Um, my life's work is gonna be to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry. So here's that clip, you guys enjoy. Let me know if there's anything I could do for you and we'll talk to you guys soon. Let's see, who we got here, Weatherby, Weatherby. Hello. Hey, Miss Weatherby. Yes. Hey, Miss Weatherby. This is Ricky Carruth down at Remax of Orange Beach. How you doing? I'm doing fairly well. Um, what could, I'm a little busy right now with my daughter. What can I do for you today? I got you. Well, look, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I just there was a house right down from the road from you on Terry Cove Drive that just sold, and I didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you at the moment. 
I got you. I got you. Well, look, is there an agent in the area that you would work with if you were to do something? Well, I, I just really haven't gave it much thought. Uh, I got you. Freaky. Well, well, look, um, I'm sure in the future, maybe five or 10 years down the road, you might be, you know, interested in doing something. I'm sure at some point, I love the opportunity to work with you. Would it be all right if I stayed in touch with you? Well, sure. What's your email address? It's All right. All right, cool. All right, well, thank you, Mrs. Weatherby. You have a good day.